Yes. Hi. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Pintane. Pintane? Pintane. Pintane. Uh -huh. Hey, nice to meet you. For she's. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Awesome. How are you? Good. I'm Tamara. Brandon. Nice to meet you. I like your picture. I do? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Should I just sit? Yes. Awesome. We were having. Uh, I look like my camera is good. Difficulty. Uh -oh. So we had to uh, use the uh, the video on the cell phone. Sure. For the last one. So hopefully it's, it's awesome. Awesome. Oops, sorry. So what I'll do is I'll let just me. be asking you questions and then okay. you can just answer them in complete sentences. All right. And just be free to say whatever. Okay. So if you can give us your name and tell us about yourself. My name is Tamara Henry, as in Lights, Tamara, Action. And I'm a filmmaker. And I have a documentary fil film company called Vanilla Fire. And here are three of my films. I've been busy. I've got Return to Tarawa, narrated by Ed Harris. And I've got the sequel to that, which is Until They Are Home, narrated by Kelsey Grammer. Talk about the boss on Stars, right? Yes. So he's the boss, she's the boss. Uh -huh. And uh, I also have the film called The Carrier with Michael Jordan, President Obama was born here. Uh, this is another one of those films about Osama bin Laden, the aircraft carrier that dumped his body. And I also have an amazing new film coming out that uh, I don't have one packaged yet because it's still in production called The Invincibles. It's about Blake Leeper. He's the fastest man on two cheetah blades. He's like Oscar Pistorius, but he's, he's you know... Got two cheetah blades. He doesn't even have legs. He was born that way. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, so me being an entrepreneur, my job is to create content. And, uh, you know, now I have a hero to promote. So it's kind of like Jerry Maguire, if you saw that movie. Show me the money. Uh -huh. I've got me an athlete now that I'm ready to put on the Wheaties box <laughs> and uh, inspire the world. All right. Uh, so what is the current state of your business? Um, my film company started in about 2007. Um, I've landed on the Oscar shortlist twice, so I'm like hot on fire, ready to go. You know, everything I do is like everything I touch turns to gold. Um, and I'm ready maybe to do one of my first feature films. I have, uh, I have the story of the decade, story of the last decade called The Balloon Boy, when the little boy was in the balloon and the father that... Right. So I have the whole story because I was friends with that guy. Oh. And so I have the whole story, I know the truth of really, what really happened. So I really see that being like my first feature film. And because making the transition from documentaries to feature, you know that when you've done your first feature, you've made it. Right. So being an entrepreneur, being a female filmmaker, being mm -hmm. able to make that transition and for you to be able to watch me do that, and mm -hmm. um, it's going to be amazing. And I see Jim Carrey attached to that because, uh, you know, The Truman Show and Jim Carrey, and uh, it's going to be amazing. So what are some of the challenges you faced? personally and professionally? Mm. Some of the challenges I face is that you're not in control. You know, you can do everything that you can do. You can show your films where they're supposed to be shown. You can pass through all the red tape, sign all the paperwork, pay all the fees, do all the things, show your film, you know, where it needs to be shown. We showed at the Capitol. You know, we did some amazing things. We had a premiere at the DGA. You can get celebrities attached to your film, you know, and uh, you can get so close, but, you know, you can't, and the funny thing is when you're trying to win an Oscar, you can't really call up the people that you know that are in the Academy and ask for their vote because that's off limits. Mm. So it's just a lot of, you know, like, you know, what can I do? The law of attraction, you know, how can I make my dream happen, you know, from the inside instead of making it happen with a hammer out there. Did I read so. something about your husband got some billionaires to finance? He did. <laughs> oh, you're on the story? I'm so glad you said that. Um, exactly. Um, my fiance, we're getting married this uh, spring, and that's the thing that I call him as my dragon slayer because he does. I'm, the, I'm his muse, and uh -huh. I help. I turned him into a director, and he goes out there and he slays the dragons. He was a sales guy before this. Uh -huh. I turned him into a filmmaker, but the best kind of filmmaker is the one who knows how to sell. So he's not afraid of walking up to a studio head or a CEO or a celebrity or whatever and just, you know, not beating around the bush and say, look, we want to attach you to our, pro our project. We want to attach you. We want you to write us a check. We want you to executive produce. And he's been able to do that more than 10 times with 10 billionaires. Wow. wow. Did it's he have the connections to do that, or did he just... Um, did he have the connections? No. Um, I think it's just, he's a, he's, 
every day he reads the Hollywood Reporter. He reads Variety. He goes to the conferences. He knows. He, I can't even recognize all the celebrities. He recognizes studio heads, people that aren't even celebrities, oh, you know. Honestly. He's like, oh, that's the, he goes, that's the, you know, the guy that runs Paramount, you know. Wow. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. So do you have any children? Uh, we have a dog and a cat that we love that's our children. Uh -huh. Five little fluffy Jimmy Choo. He's five years old. He's uh -huh. a little Maltese. And uh -huh. our other little cat, Cozy Mel, uh -huh. is a little Persian, a new addition to our family. Wow. So we have two kids. Yes, we do. And what are your pet peeves? My pet peeves? Um, cold butter. I hate being at the restaurant and like, how am I going to spread this cold butter on my <laughs> bread here? It's like tearing my bread up. It's like, don't they know how to serve bread? <laughs> What inspires you? The creative process and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get my thinking cap on and brainstorm about stuff. So. Cool. And what are your strengths and weaknesses? Mm. My weakness is that I'm a sweet Southern belle. Gee, I don't know how I'm going to get all this done. Um, but actually, that's my strength because then all these big, strong men come rushing in saying, Don't worry, honey, we'll do it for you. <laughs> um, so I, I think that one of my weak, my, my strengths is, uh, you know, so many people get so mad so quick and burn a bridge, mm -hmm. but I think that I really have the ability to forgive and give people leeway and, you know, to have tolerance, patience, and love with people because we all got to get along and it's hard sometimes when right. we're stressed out. Where are you from? Arkansas. 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 Yeah. Okay. A <laughs> um, couple more questions. What would people be surprised to know about you? That I'm smart. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I come in looking all wide-eyed and blonde, and uh -huh. um, they're surprised to find out that uh, I enjoy talking about metaphysics and superposition theory and, you know, deeper things about the universe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you feel about being on reality TV? Um, I love it. I, um, you know, to me it's fascinating enough, what is reality? People mm -hmm. ask me, is reality TV really real? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. You know, This whole thing is all an illusion that we all made up anyway. And don't take it so seriously. Right. And you know, don't march in line and try to be like everybody. And think outside the box. You know? um, reality is what you make it. You, know? right. um, you can have your dream. Um, I love reality TV because it's a challenge to be yourself and you have to be comfortable with your dark side. Right. Don't go on reality TV if you hadn't told the truth to yourself about yourself because right. you're going to find out with all those mirrors. Right. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you right. so much. Awesome. Thank you guys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Looks like you guys are doing some fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for doing your homework on me. That was fun. Oh, <laughs> Bye. Bye.